Hi there, and welcome to 10.6 Consulting. Today we're going to create and assign a baseline in Primavera P6. In P6, a baseline is used to take a special copy of your project plan and use it for comparison once the project gets underway. Without a baseline, it is virtually impossible to see if your project is proceeding to plan or not. Because projects rarely go exactly as planned, it's vital that you identify any deviation from the original plan and act quickly to get the project back on track. A baseline will help you do this. In P6, you can create an unlimited number of baselines and can assign up to four separate baselines per project. P6 has the concept of a project baseline, which can be thought of as a master baseline, and user baselines, which can be used for more ad hoc snapshots of the project at various stages of its execution. You can assign up to three user baselines. These are primary, secondary, and tertiary. When you create a baseline and assign it to your project, it functions as a frozen copy of the schedule. As the current schedule changes, you can compare it with the baseline and see differences in dates, durations, costs, and so on. These changes between the current plan and the baseline are called variants. Variants can be used to quantify the extent of a change from the original plan. Baselining a project in P6 is a two-step process. First, we create a baseline, and second, we assign it to the project. Creating a baseline. To create a baseline in P6, we'll be using the Maintain Baselines option in the Projects menu. When this option is selected, the Maintain Baselines dialog opens. In here, you will see any open projects listed in the dialog. In this case, we have just the one project open and we are ready to create a baseline copy. To create the baseline, the Add button is clicked. In the Add New Baseline dialog, we will go with the default option to save a copy of the current project as a new baseline. After a couple of moments, a baseline copy of the project appears under the project heading with a suffix of B1. In the lower portion of the dialog, you can edit the name of the baseline project using the baseline name field. You can also view the data date and the last update date indicating the date on which the currently selected baseline was created. There is also a baseline type field in which you can select from a number of predefined baseline types. These are simply labels you can apply to a baseline to help keep track of its purpose. For example, we could set our new home construction baseline to a value of initial planning baseline. The baseline we've just created is actually a full copy of the project in the database. It just doesn't show up as a project in the project's view of P6. However, certain items of its data can be seen within the current project once it has been assigned to it. So, let's look at how to assign this baseline to our new home construction project. Again, we return to the project menu and this time we choose the Assign Baselines option. In the field at the top of the Assign Baselines dialog, we can see the project against which we are about to assign a baseline. Below that field is the Project Baseline field. At this point, it is set to Current Project. This means that the current project is actually doubling as a baseline. If baseline dates, durations or costs are being displayed in the project, they will simply match the current values of the project. Not very useful, as these will change with the project and not provide any frame of reference. What we need to do here is set the project baseline to the baseline we just took. This takes care of the project baseline assignment and now ensures that if the current plan begins to change, the project baseline fields in P6 will reflect the original baseline values. If you'd like to learn more about Primavera P6, then 10.6 offers some great online training courses.
These courses are written by industry experts and offer you all the skills you need to get up and running as a P6 scheduler. For more information, visit our website at 106.com for full details on how to get started.